I'm Sarah Terry. I'm the founder and artistic director of the Aftermath Project. Our work can be summed up in six short words. War is only half the story. Our work picks up where the mainstream media stops in conflict. They stop when the guns are silent, when, when war ends. We believe the really important stories happen in post-conflict. There are periods of time when people are coping with the lingering wounds of war, and yet they're also living in ways that we believe define and illumine our humanity. Every year we give a grant to photographers who will work the following year on an Aftermath project. We also name four finalists every year. This is a way of looking at what's important in terms of aftermath stories right now in our lives. This is the first time we've done a Kickstarter campaign to raise the funds for our matching grant from the National Endowment for the Arts, which supports the publication of our annual book, War is Only Half the Story. You will find some very cool incentives over there on that side of the page. You can get photographs past volumes. You'll be able to order an advanced copy of War is Only Half the Story, Volume 5. That's the book we're publishing this year. It features the work of our 2012 grant winner and finalists. We're excited to get it out to you. The money that we raise for our National Endowment of the Arts uh, matching grant also helps us send the book out pro bono to more than 500 policymakers, educators. It goes to every U.S. senator, people who can help shape the conversation about post-conflict issues. The National Endowment for the Arts has also given us $20,000 to rebuild and relaunch our website so that it is an interactive tool for anybody who's interested in these stories. You'll be able to come and have find archival information, go deeper in the stories of, that our grant winners have done, interact with the grant winner each year. So money that we raise above that goal for publishing our book goes right into that campaign. It goes right into furthering our work. A friend of mine who's a human rights activist uh, once responded to one of our books with a note in which she wrote, um, what we shine a light on is what grows. And she said, and hopefully the Aftermath Project grows peace. It, it, she gave me a lot to think about with that because if the only thing we shine a light on in terms of the way we tell ourselves stories in the world through the media, if the only stories we tell ourselves are the stories of conflict, if that's what we hold up, if it's what we shine a light on, then what is it that grows? That's what we're committed to at the Aftermath Project, telling the stories of post-conflict that remind us of our humanity, that remind us of who we are, and that remind us of what's worth fighting for in the world. We hope that's what grows, these stories that define us.